Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. Like subscribe, and share with your fellow denarian friends. To help support our channel we now accept tips using the blockchain based Brave Browser and BAT tokens. It makes a huge difference and is very much appreciated. To those of you that made a contribution, I sincerely thank you very much. I have not put a video up in a couple of days, as I have been doing a lot of research, which I will get into in a moment, that I believe can benefit us all. If you have not done so yet, pick up your free trial copy of the Currency Exchange Planner and check out the awesome new Currency Exchange Planner Companion, voted the number one exchange planner in the Dinar community for a reason. Both the links to the powerful secure blockchain Brave browser as well as the currency exchange planner are in the description box below this video. Before we get started, I would like to give my opinion on the world events we are being presented with today. This is just my opinion, and you can disagree with me all you want, that is fine, that is your human god-given right to do so. You all need to stay grounded and not panic as this rolls out. The world is a stage and you are witnessing the rollout of the greatest financial system that this planet has ever seen. You are blessed to have one of the many golden tickets that are available to those that see. They have to end the old system to bring in the new. It was the only way to go from a failing system to a new flourishing system. I do believe it will get a bit worse before it will get better economically speaking, however it is for the good of humanity. For those of you that choose to see, you can see through all the fake news being put out on the media. All the scare tactics that all of a sudden became a huge deal out of the blue, even though this has been going on for a few months now, but until now has been suppressed from you. There are way too many coincidences that this whole world stage is being done to take down the old system. Do not panic, everything will be fine, keep your focus on what is happening with the world economies, as they present the show to you and know that the end scene is a new world of prosperity and a level playing field for all economies on the new blockchain quantum financial system. Remember knowledge is power, how you use that knowledge is powerful. Place your bets accordingly and you could come out shining on the new blockchain system. I place links to two videos in the description that you can watch to learn more about XRP and Stellar along with Ethereum and what they are doing, and you can make your own conclusion from there. I figure one if not all of these investments will hit big along with the IQD. I am not a financial advisor, and this is all just my opinion. And you should not take my opinion seriously, but you probably should. You're welcome in advance by the way. With this being said, let's get started. First article of interest for today, the banking system in economic crises. The government and private banks have been able to contribute to financial and monetary stability and the conduct of banking business in light of the demonstrations and peaceful popular mobility that started since October 1st of last year compared to the confusion of banking work in other countries that have already passed the same conditions or are still going through similar conditions. This confirms the soundness of the policies and procedures set by the central bank in the application of monetary policy and careful implementation by banks and the application of what was stated in its strategy for the years 2016 to 2020, and the structural, structural and technical developments that contributed to the emergence of prominent features to achieve financial and monetary stability. This reinforced the support provided by the central bank and banks to the national economy during economic and financial crises, which is a bright spot and a success experience in a country that is going through difficult and complicated circumstances and a historical stage that is the most difficult to face economic challenges. Efforts, wise policies, rational monetary policy applications, and developmental measures for the banking sector in stimulating economic growth financial inclusion, structural and institutional building and optimal investment in human capital have led to important achievements, most notably, maintaining inflation at a rate not exceeding 2% and at a level of foreign reserves within rates higher than acceptable ratios according to international standards, as the foreign reserves of Iraq amounted to more than $80 billion. 
and building the banking sector organizationally, supervisory and control, and establishing new units within the organizational structures of banks such as compliance, combating money laundering and terrorist financing, managing credit and operational risks, issuing the Money Laundering Law 39 of 2015, forming the Anti-Money Laundering and Terrorist Financing Council, developing payment systems, applying all retail and mobile payment operations, and establishing the Exchange NBK and working to implement international standards and financial reports in line with the principle of transparency, disclosure and the composition of the Payments Council. The Iraq added to the efforts exerted on a daily basis to stimulate financial inclusion processes and formed the Supreme Committee for Financial Inclusion and worked to draw up a national strategy for financial inclusion and focus on the project of localizing employee salaries for the purpose of raising the percentage of financial inclusion for the population who do not have accounts in the banking system and for the purpose of restoring confidence in the banking sector. Also the establishment of the Deposit Guarantee Company with the aim of raising the savings rate at banks and reducing the percentage of hoarding in homes and thus stimulating the economy by activating investment in bank financing and taking regulatory and structural measures in introducing the Deposit Center in the market Iraq Securities and the establishment of a National Fiduciary Information Center. The above positive aspects of our banks confirm that they still need government support to implement all previously issued decisions of the Council of Ministers and the Economic Affairs Committee which unfortunately did not. It is activated by the concerned authorities. I also believe that banks should take care of overcoming self-failures and constraints that have led to poor customer confidence in their banking dealings. The intention here is troubled banks and diagnosed by the Central Bank and the Association of Iraqi Private Banks and Citizens. Next article of interest. Al-Hamash. The budget should be calculated at $40 a barrel. Economic expert, Saleh Al-Hamash, saw on Friday that the budget should be counted at $40 a barrel for oil, pointing out that the sovereigns get 40% of the budget and expenditures can be streamlined to ensure control of the deficit. Al-Hamash said in a statement to the information that the 2020 budget must be reconsidered in order to prepare it well according to a new plan, especially since many things differed from last year. He added that oil prices are constantly declining, and the budget must be based on the price of a barrel of $40 in order to prepare a correct budget and absorb the changes that may occur in prices and that, the budget, in the event that it is calculated at $40 a barrel, the deficit in it can be addressed through agile expenditures, especially that 40% of the budget goes to the sovereigns in the country, in addition to that the state has 600,000 cars and therefore needs constant expenses that overburden a budget country. He explained that the statistics and official data of the International Monetary Fund confirm that the world will not depend on oil as a primary source of the budget by the year 2030, especially as there are many alternatives that have been resorted to in order not to rely on oil. Next article of interest. What after Sunday? A legal expert clarifies the was fate and options for Saleh. A legal expert revealed the fate of the Prime Minister designate. Mohammad Tafiq Alawi, after his constitutional deadline to form his cabinet was set for next Sunday. Constitutionally, the President of the Republic assigns another candidate to form the ministry in the event that the Alawi ministry does not gain confidence in the parliament session tomorrow, Saturday, according to paragraph V of Article 76 of the Constitution, and this is most likely after having most of the Shiite. Sunni and Kurdish blocs agreed not to vote and give the Prime Minister designate confidence as long as these parliamentary blocs did not take their share of the ministries, he said. He pointed out that, although the candidates for the ministry represent all components, these blocs require the ministers to be the ones that nominate them, and each bloc has its share of ministers, that is, party partisanship, not sectarian quotas that the Prime Minister took into consideration. Rather, the blocs request that the ministers be subordinate to them. They nominated them, not the prime minister, and so the parliamentary quotas were behind the removal of Alawi and his project to establish a government that is far from quotas, 
while respecting the components by representing them in the ministry he prepared. Harb pointed out that the failure to grant a law we confidence after the vote would entail constitutionally assuming the President of the Republic to appoint another candidate and note that in this case there are no more parliamentary blocks, but rather an absolute authority of the President of the Republic, Baram Saleh, an absolute authority in the nomination to head the personal ministry that he deems necessary without relationship to the more numerous block or the fewer block. So the issue is subject to the discretion of the President of the Republic only without restriction or condition in assigning anyone to exclude a lawwi because the Constitution decides another candidate and the other is not the former lawwi and this constitutes his government and presents it to Parliament to request that he be given confidence. The House of Representatives, held postponed its special session was scheduled to give confidence and vote on the cabin prime minister designate Mohammed Tafik Alawi because of continuing differences between the blocks. Next article of interest. Deputy in Al-Fatah, Alawi's government will pass in tomorrow's session. There is a ready majority. On Saturday, February 29, 2020, Al-Fatah Fathil Al-Fatlawi a member of the al Fatah Alliance, confirmed that the Iraqi parliament will vote to grant confidence to Prime Minister-designate Mohammed Tawfiq Alawi and his government, in a session, tomorrow, Sunday. al Fatlawi said, to, Baghdad today, that, political dialogues, continuous and continuous, to reach agreement and political agreement to vote on granting confidence to the government of Mohammed Tawfiq Alawi, with the participation of all political forces from various components. And that, there is a ready majority to vote on the Alawi government, since Thursday's session, but we want the session to be with the participation of all political forces, and for this session on Sunday, you will witness a vote on the Alawi government, even if some political blocs continue to boycott the session, this majority is ready to vote. And on Friday, Prime Minister-designate Mohammed Tawfiq Alawi requested that the session on granting confidence to his government be postponed to next Sunday instead of Saturday. In order to complete the formation of the ministerial cabinet, we hope to postpone the extraordinary session until Sunday, the 1st of next March, Alawi said in a message addressed to Parliament Speaker Mohammed al Halbousi. Parliament was scheduled to hold a session on Saturday to pass the Wiz government after his failure to do so on Thursday, due to the lack of a quorum for the number of members present due to deep differences over the government formation. Next article of interest. Shankali, Iraq is on the verge of economic collapse if it does not maximize its revenues. Iraqi politician and former MP and Parliament Majid Shankali stressed that Iraq is on the verge of economic collapse if it does not maximize its revenues. Shankali said in a tweet on his account on Twitter, Iraq is heading towards an economic collapse if it does not reduce its expenditures and maximize its revenues, because the price of a barrel of Brent reached $50 and the world expects an economic crisis because of corona exceeds the crisis of 2008 and Iraq depends 95% on oil and its budget. He added, maximizing revenues is what we hear without seeing it a reality. Next article of interest. Legal. Saleh is prime minister in the event that Alawi is not trusted. The legal expert, Ali al-Tamimi, confirmed today, Saturday the possibility of the President of the Republic taking the post of Prime Minister in the event of failure to grant confidence, to the Prime Minister designate Mohammed Tawfiq Alawi by the House of Representatives. Al-Tamimi wrote, on his personal page on Facebook, and followed him, Tomorrow Press, saying that, the topic of the largest bloc went with Abdel Mahdi, who is considered its candidate according to what was explained by the Federal Court 2010 and 2014, where the largest blush was silent about the nomination of Abdel Mahdi and a silence in the exhibition of need statement and acceptance. He added that, according to the third and fifth paragraphs of Article 76, the Constitution cannot limit the selection of the President of the Republic, because it is a free, unrestricted choice for other candidates after the failure of the largest bloc candidate to the same largest block until you nominate another candidate after failure.
Now if Parliament does not vote for Muhammad Alawi and does not give him confidence and leave Abdul Mahdi for the post, the President of the Republic will act as Abdul Mahdi to assume the post of Prime Minister, Tamimi said. And he stated that, the text came in accordance with Article 81 of the Constitution absolutely without specifying a period for the President of the Republic to take over the position and without specifying the authority where the President of the Republic assigns another new candidate for Prime Minister within 15 days from the date of vacancy of the position as stated in Article 81 second. He pointed out that it is possible to resort to the federal court to explain the ambiguity contained in Article 76 and 81 of the Constitution. Hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more articles of interest are posted. Check out the Denarian blog, Facebook and Twitter for all of today's articles of interest. Pick up your free trial copy of the newly upgraded Currency Exchange Planner and check out the new Currency Exchange Planner Companion before you leave. Use the promo code, the Denarian, and get 25% off at checkout when you decide to unleash the full planner's abilities, along with the mobile application added free for being my subscriber. Register today as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program. If you do not keep your savings in a real asset like gold, you risk everything as the fiat system fails and they boot up the new quantum financial system on the blockchain. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold, as tomorrow may be too late. The program is made so everyone can afford to save in gold, by offering it one gram at a time. Start saving in a real true asset like gold, it's free to register and secure your family's savings tomorrow. Why do you think all the central banks are loading up on gold lately, and running from the current depreciating fiat US dollar? Do you think they do not know what is coming? get yourself protected. Both of the links to these invaluable programs are available in the description box below this video, go check them out, knowledge is power, using that newfound knowledge is powerful, over and out, for now, the Denarian.